Hey everybody, uh, today I wanted to spend some time talking about the verdict that's been handed down uh, in the Rutgers spy cam case. For those of you who have not been following it, a uh, young man uh, by the last name of Ravi uh, secretly recorded his, uh, his roommate uh, by the last name of Clemente, his name is Tyler Clemente, and, uh, having gay sex. And uh, Tyler was kind of mortified and horrified uh, by the revelation that um, he had been secretly recorded, and he climbed up the George Washington Bridge and jumped off to his death. And now uh, Ravi has been convicted uh, of essentially being responsible for this young man killing himself. Uh, he has to pay $11,000 in restitution. He's getting 30 days in jail because it's not a direct murder or anything. Uh, he was more the catalyst or being seen as the catalyst. Uh, and he will be on three years probation. And so this kind of got uh, me really thinking about, you know, to what degree are we responsible for other people's actions? Because when I'm thinking about this, a lot of this is him being judged uh, in the court of public opinion rather than uh, fact. I, well... Hopefully there's fact, you know, he's being legally judged. Um, but morally, you know, how responsible is this man? He recorded someone and the other person decided to jump off of a bridge. And my contention is that, yes, he's morally responsible to a degree, but he's not morally responsible to the degree that he's being held. Uh, parent, you know, the parents of Clementi, uh, you know, are talking about, you know, you don't know what you did to us, what, you know, what you, Ravi, did to us. And my thought is, uh, your son did this to you. Your son was embarrassed, yes. But there were a hundred different responses that he could have given. Uh, he could have reported, you know, Ravi to the authorities. He could have, you know, just confronted Ravi and said it's not funny. He could have laughed it off because in the grand scheme of things, uh, it really didn't matter. I, I don't know. Um, it wasn't my life, so I can't, you know, just, um, you know, shortchange him on, on his responses. But I can shortchange him on this particular response. Climbing up a bridge, breaking the law, and climbing over the safety railing, and jumping to your death uh, seems to me to be something for which only you can be held responsible. To hold Ravi responsible for this young man's death I feel is is foolish, is wrong, and is probably worse than, than the crime that he initially committed. He can be convicted of, uh, you know, felony voyeurism, for sure. Uh, that's, that's, that's wrong. No one should, you know, record someone else without their consent. Uh, you, you can disagree over whether couples should, you know, be able to record themselves or not. That's not what this, uh, this post is about. Uh, but I think we live in a culture where we don't hold people responsible for their own actions. I grew up and I was bullied in high school. And to this day, I feel like some of that bullying has an effect on me. Now, I could go after all those guys who bullied me in high school and blame them for not being where I should be in life. A lot of the guys who were bullies to me in high school are, you know, actually have pretty decent jobs, you know, beautiful wives, great families, and here I am, you know, 32, and, you know, and divorced, and, you know, don't get to see my daughter as much as I'd like to, and all these terrible things in my life. And I could go to them and say, because of what you did to me, because of your guys' influence in my my life, uh, you're responsible, and it would absolve me of my own responsibility for for my own, you know, bad actions. And I feel like that's a lot of what is going on in this case. I don't think it's a hate crime. Um, you know, if if I was recorded, you know, if I was recorded, you know, having sex, and you know, I'm straight, uh, I would be mortified. I would be horrified that someone did that, and, and you know, put that out for other people to see. Uh, so. Uh, I don't think this is a hate crime issue, but I really do feel like we are judging this man um, for the wrong crime. Felony voyeurism, yes. Guilty. Killing someone else, no. I think that uh, falls to uh, Tyler Clementi himself. He chose to you know, climb up the bridge. He chose to jump off the bridge uh, when he could have responded any number of other ways. Um, I'm not trying to be insensitive to the plight of gay people and, you know, the pressures that they feel for, you know, how they're living their lives or, or, or whatever, or, you know, coming out or being outed. I'm not trying to, to downplay the, 
uh, that particular issue. But I do believe that uh, Ravi is being shortchanged in this particular case. Um, he needs to be held accountable for what he did do, but he does not need to be held accountable for, um, you know, for Tyler's ultimate tragic response. That belongs to Tyler himself. Agree? Disagree? Uh, I welcome your uh, your input. Please leave some comments. I've already had a good discussion uh, with a good friend of mine, James, about this, and he disagrees with me on it, and that's fine. Um, but uh, I would love to, to get your thoughts. Talk to you later.